In July 25, the U.S. Space Force caught something no one expected, a transmission linked to the interstellar object 3i Atlas, one of only three visitors ever seen coming from beyond our solar system. Astronomers, armed with every tool from the Atlas survey to the most powerful military radars on Earth, were ready for another cosmic flyby, but not for a pattern in the sky that seemed to defy conventional physics. Now, with Google's quantum core sifting through petabytes of night sky data, the world holds its breath. Did we just intercept a message from something truly alien, or is there another explanation buried in the static? The stakes couldn't be higher, and what Space Force uncovered next left even the experts out of words. Three confirmed visitors, that's all astronomers have ever caught from beyond our solar system. Each one, a cosmic outlier, a traveler with no home star, no familiar orbit, and no warning before its arrival. The first, Oumuamua, appeared in 2017. It moved at 26 kilometers per second, fast enough to escape the sun forever. Its shape and motion left scientists puzzled. Not quite a Kimit, not quite an asteroid, and gone before telescopes could focus. Two years later, Borisov swept in at 32 kilometers per second, trailing a classic comet tail. That one, at least, acted like something we'd seen before, but its chemistry told a story from a different stellar nursery. Now, 3i slash Atlas has entered the scene. Detected on July 1st, 25, by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile, it streaks through the solar system at a staggering 58 kilometers per second. That's more than twice as fast as Oumuamua. Its orbit is sharply hyperbolic, with an eccentricity over six. So extreme, it can only have come from interstellar space. For comparison, every planet and asteroid in our solar system travels on an orbit with eccentricity less than one. Even most comets, the wildest wanderers, never break that barrier. But 3i slash Atlas isn't bound by our sun at all. The Atlas system itself is part of the reason these objects don't slip by unnoticed anymore. Four robotic telescopes, two in Hawaii, one in South Africa, and one in Chile, scan the entire night sky every 24 hours. Each night, they gather hundreds of gigabytes of data, tracking everything from near-Earth asteroids to the faintest flashes on the edge of detection. The project's goal? Find anything moving, anything new, anything that stands out against the static field of stars. John Tonry, who helped build Atlas, once described it as a cosmic burglar alarm. It's designed to catch the rarest events, even if they appear from the darkest corners of the sky. But catching an interstellar visitor is still like finding a single snowflake in a blizzard. The odds are daunting. For every billion objects passing through our solar system, only a handful come from another star. Atlas, with its global network and relentless cadence, is humanity's best tool for spotting these cosmic outsiders before they vanish. Each new interstellar object forces astronomers to rethink what's possible, their speeds, their orbits, even their physical makeup. These are not just numbers on a chart. They're clues to the chaos of planetary systems across the galaxy. 3. I slash Atlas, with its record-breaking velocity, is the fastest messenger yet. Its discovery isn't just a technical achievement. It's a reminder that our solar system is open to the universe and that the rarest visitors can arrive at any moment, carrying secrets from places we may never see. What would it mean to intercept a signal linked to one of these travelers? How do we separate a true anomaly from the noise of the cosmos? The answers depend on constant vigilance and on the global partnerships that keep watch for the next impossible arrival. Space never truly sleeps. On the ground, a silent sentinel keeps watch, one that doesn't blink for clouds, sunlight, or storms. The Deep Space Advanced Radar Capability, or DARK, operates around the clock, rain or shine, tracking thousands of objects in geosynchronous orbit 22,000 miles above Earth. Each of its parabolic antennas acts like a finely tuned ear, listening for the faintest echoes from satellites, debris, or anything else that moves through this crowded belt. DARK's radar pulses sweep vast stretches of sky, detecting objects as small as 30 centimeters across about the size of a classroom globe. In technical terms, its sensitivity outpaces older systems by orders of magnitude. Where previous generations might lose track during daylight or bad weather, 
Dark's arrays pull in data continuously, filling in the blind spots that once left operators guessing. The volume is staggering. Every minute, the system processes millions of radar returns, each one a potential track, a possible threat, or just a harmless fragment of an old rocket stage. The numbers climb quickly. Over 150 million pieces of debris are estimated to be orbiting Earth, from paint flecks to spent boosters. Most are too small to threaten a satellite, but even a bolt traveling at orbital speeds can punch through metal like a bullet. Dark's job is to find them all, no matter how faint the signal. This relentless monitoring isn't just about safety, it's about certainty. The more objects you track, the better you can predict collisions, spot unexpected maneuvers, or notice when something new enters the scene. But there's a catch. The sheer volume of data creates its own kind of blindness. For every meaningful event, there are millions of routine blips and background echoes. Analysts face a flood of information, so much that the rare and the remarkable can vanish in the noise. Dark's all-weather, global reach sets a new standard for space surveillance. Yet even with this power, the challenge isn't just seeing everything, it's knowing what matters. With the sky busier than ever, and new satellites launching every week, the question isn't whether something will slip through, it's whether our systems can spot the real outliers, the signals that don't fit any known pattern. The silent watcher keeps scanning, antennas pivoting, algorithms sorting, always searching for the unexpected. In the end, it's not just about tracking what's already up there. It's about being ready for the day when something truly strange appears on the radar, and the world needs an answer fast. One night of sky survey now produces more raw data than astronomers collected in the entire 20th century. Atlas, Pan Stars, ZTF, and dozens of other telescopes sweep the heavens, each capturing hundreds of gigabytes before dawn. The Vera Rubin Observatory, when fully operational, will add 20 terabytes every night, enough to fill a stack of hard drives taller than a city bus. Multiply that by years, and the numbers spiral out of reach. Petabytes, then exabytes, then a digital mountain no single team can climb alone. Every image is a snapshot in a cosmic time lapse, each pixel a possible clue. But the challenge isn't just in taking the pictures, it's in finding what matters inside them. A single night's haul might contain hundreds of millions of moving objects, variable stars, asteroid trails, and background galaxies. Most are routine, cataloged, expected. But hidden in the noise, once or twice a year, something appears that shouldn't exist. A trajectory that can't be explained, a flash with no known source, a pattern the algorithms weren't trained to recognize. The system is overwhelmed. Each telescope's pipeline sorts, filters, and tags, but the pace is relentless. Atlas alone produces over 200 million source detections per night. Even with automated screening, the false alarms pile up. Hot pixels, cosmic rays, satellites, and atmospheric glitches masquerade as discoveries. Analysts spend hours combing through flagged events, most of which dissolve under closer inspection. It's not just the volume, it's the speed. Some phenomena last only seconds. If the system misses them, they're gone forever. The Rubin Observatory's alert stream will fire off 10 million notifications every night, each one a potential discovery or a digital phantom. Human review can't keep up. By the time a real anomaly is confirmed, the window for follow-up may have already closed. This is the data flood barrier. The more we observe, the harder it becomes to see. The signal drowns in the noise, and the rarest events risk being lost to history. Astronomers now rely on machine learning to sift through the chaos, but even the best algorithms struggle when faced with the unknown. The system is trained on the past, yet the universe keeps inventing new surprises. The stakes are growing. As detection rates soar, the chance of missing something truly extraordinary, an interstellar visitor, a new kind of cosmic explosion, a signal that defies explanation, increases. The tools that once promised to reveal the universe now threaten to bury it beneath an avalanche of data. Some researchers argue that only a new kind of analysis can break through this wall. Quantum processors, with their ability to search vast parameter spaces in parallel, are being tested on pilot data sets. The hope is that they might spot subtle patterns, correlations invisible to classical algorithms, hints that something in the data doesn't belong, 
But for now, the barrier stands. The sky is open, the cameras are rolling, and the flood of information grows with every passing night. If you had to choose, would you trust a machine to find the next cosmic anomaly, or would you bet on human intuition to catch what the algorithms miss? Comment below with your take. The search for the signal continues, but the deluge shows no signs of slowing. Sycamore doesn't read the sky like a human. It tackles chaos head-on, sifting through a digital avalanche that would drown even the fastest supercomputer. Picture thousands of images, each packed with millions of pixels, noise, cosmic rays, satellite streaks, and somewhere, maybe, a single anomaly. Where classical algorithms march one step at a time, Sycamore leaps across the whole board at once. The heart of Sycamore is a 53-qubit lattice, each qubit a quantum switch that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. That's quantum parallelism. Instead of checking every possible pattern one by one, the processor explores millions of combinations in a single operation. Imagine a maze with countless branching paths. A classical computer tries each route, marking dead ends as it goes. Sycamore, in a single moment, walks every path at once and flags the ones that don't fit any known pattern. The analogy isn't just poetic. In practice, this means Sycamore can process a night's worth of survey data, hundreds of gigabytes, billions of data points, without getting lost in the flood. Each qubit acts like a lookout, scanning for correlations that might escape even the most finely tuned classical code. If a hot pixel fires off a false alarm, Sycamore's layered checks spot the inconsistency instantly. If a cosmic ray leaves a streak, the quantum core recognizes the signature and moves on. But if something appears that matches no template, no simulation, no known artifact, it stands out. Not as a blip, but as a pattern that resists every known explanation. The hardware is relentless. Each layer of the processor applies a new filter, a new lens, pixel intensity, time variability, spatial coherence, spectral signature. The 53 qubit array can represent over nine quadrillion distinct states at once. That's not just brute force, it's a new way of seeing. Where a classical system would need weeks to check every possibility, Sycamore completes the search in seconds. The result isn't just a list of candidates, it's a map of statistical outliers, ranked by how far they stand from the background noise. Quantum error correction keeps the process honest. Any single qubit can flip, but the lattice as a whole resists random glitches. Patterns that survive multiple rounds of quantum scrutiny, tested, retested, and cross-checked against calibration data, rise to the top. The final output is a short list, not hundreds of false positives, but a handful of events that pass every filter, every test, every audit. The odds of a random blip making it through are vanishingly small less than one in a thousand, sometimes one in 10,000, after all checks are done. The power of Sycamore isn't just speed. It's the ability to find order in chaos, structure in what looks like randomness. For astronomers, that's more than a technical leap. It's a new kind of pattern hunt, one where the rarest signals, those that might change how we see the universe, no longer risk being lost in the noise. But the real test comes when the quantum core flags something that refuses to fit, what happens when the pattern Sycamore finds has no precedent, no analog, and no clear explanation? Share your thoughts below. Is this the future of discovery or just the start of a deeper mystery? Validation teams attack the data from every angle, hunting for the usual suspects. Noisy pixels, cosmic ray hits, software bugs, and signal compression artifacts. Each flagged anomaly faces a gauntlet of tests. The first line of defense, the hot pixel grid. Every sensor in the array is mapped pixel by pixel, looking for those that fire too often or at the wrong times. If a pattern matches a known defect, say, a pixel that always lights up when the temperature spikes, it's tossed out. Next comes the synthetic injection test. Engineers feed the system thousands of fake events, each designed to mimic real cosmic signals or known instrument quirks. The quantum core's filters must catch every planted glitch without missing a single real anomaly. Even after passing these hurdles, the data isn't cleared. Independent software pipelines, built by separate teams, reprocess the raw frames from scratch. If a candidate only appears in one pipeline, it's flagged as a processing artifact. Only those events that survive every cross-check, every calibration sweep, 
and every statistical audit make the final shortlist. After all this, the odds that a random blip slips through drop below one in a thousand. Most anomalies vanish under the microscope, but some refuse to disappear, and those are the ones that keep astronomers up at night. After every filter, every audit, and every round of cross-checking, only a handful of events remain. So rare, the odds of a random blip making it through fall below one in a thousand, less than 0.1%. That's the statistical wall Sycamore's quantum core builds around each surviving anomaly. Most signals flagged by the system are swept away by the standard tests, hot pixels, cosmic ray strikes, calibration glitches. The survivors are thrown against independent pipelines, synthetic data injections, and hardware diagnostics. If a pattern appears in only one instrument or vanishes when the data are reprocessed, it's gone. If it persists across systems, across software, across months of scrutiny, it lands on the final list. What does that mean for the anomaly linked to 3i slash Atlas? The odds of it being a random artifact, already vanishingly small, drop even further after this gauntlet. Statisticians call this a post-selection probability, the chance that, after all known error sources are eliminated, the signal is still just noise. In this case, the math points to something that's not supposed to be there. Not with this consistency, not with this statistical weight. For defense analysts, that's more than a curiosity. An event with a sub-0.1% false alarm rate triggers protocols meant for real-world threats. It's the same logic behind missile warning systems, collision alerts, and planetary defense. When the numbers reach this level, the question shifts from, is it real, to, what do we do about it? But the deepest impact isn't technical. When every known explanation has been stripped away, when the anomaly stands alone, confirmed but unexplained, what's left is a kind of unresolved awe, the sense that something out there has broken through our best defenses against error. And for now, the mystery holds. In 25, astronomers confirmed the third known interstellar object, 3i slash Atlas, moving through our solar system at over 26 kilometers per second, an event documented by the Atlas Survey and Space Force's dark radar. When Google's Sycamore quantum processor analyzed the flood of data, it flagged a persistent anomaly tied to the object's passage. Every standard test, sensor diagnostics, software checks, independent instrument reviews, failed to explain the signal, leaving less than a 0.1% chance of random error, as reported in the joint audit logs. Still, the true nature of the transmission remains unclassified, with no official explanation from either NASA or Space Force. Today, the facts are clear. A verified anomaly persists, despite rigorous scientific scrutiny. As quantum tools reshape how we see the cosmos, the unexplained signal from 3i slash Atlas stands as a reminder. Some cosmic riddles remain open, challenging both our technology and our imagination. 